hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is neima if you're new welcome and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back so today i was talking about my brother who got married um two weeks ago yesterday which is friday actually made it two weeks he got married if you do not know i am from edo state and i was born and brought up here in kaduna and i still live in kaduna just like i and my brothers my siblings we were though he wasn't born in um kaduna but he was brought up in kaduna so we've lived all our lives in kaduna we can actually claim to be kaduna citizens i'm actually a kaduna citizen by birth so he got married to a Hausa lady. Mind you, none of my siblings have actually gotten to someone other from Edo State. So it was a new experience entirely because we had to adjust to her traditions, her cultures, and way of life. If you know the Hausas, you know their way of life is totally different from the Southerners. Even though I was born and brought up here, I am still different from the houses. Like if you see me, you'll be able to differentiate me. Like you'll be able to pin me out and say you you're not a house girl. So leave that space. So yeah, I got married to a house girl from Sokoto, and it was a nice experience because I personally I love intertribal marriage. I am not one that wants to marry my Edo man. I am not one that wants to. Marry. So I'm even go as far as saying he must be from my town. He must be from my village, not just an Edo man, but someone from my town, someone from my village. I am not that person. I love diversity. I love when I see Yoruba and Hausa coming together, Igbo and Hausa coming together. Though I know it is rare, but it happens. Um, Igbo and Hausa, Igbo and Yoruba, Ibira and Hausa, Ibira Yoruba and Hausa. It I, I I love it so much. It 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 makes me feel like okay, there is no um um tribal whatever here everybody is seeing each other as one and i really really like it so my brother saying he wants to uh, marry a house girl was something i really really looked forward to and i was happy about it to be honest and so far so good she has been a big sis yeah even before marriage she has been a big sis to me and i appreciate that so much about her so why i am doing this video is i want to share my experience with the whole uh, the whole things that had happened mind you i am not here to condemn any tribe i am not here to condemn the house tradition or culture neither am i here to say the edu culture is better i am just sharing my experience what i observe what i noticed and what i think is not right or is not appropriate and it is my own point of view so no um negativity intended so one thing i observe is the houses do not like when you go see your spouse let's say my brother goes to her house it is not something he goes and then enters the parlor sits down with her and they discuss it's not something they do they would prefer to go outside the house like stay outside the gate or inside the compound and discuss whatever they want to discuss nobody will be there ideally a little girl is supposed to be there or a little um, child is supposed to be there with them but i don't think that is practiced again because of definitely the decency, decency in the world entirely is reducing drastically so we do not really um observe those little little things we should be observing it, they see it as being abnormal for me when my sister's um, suitors were coming then they would come to the house sit in the parlor talk whatever they want to talk with my sister my dad will be there but most times my dad leaves the parlor for them to discuss but it has to be in the parlor and when once he's done once they are done discussing they walk out and she escorts him to the gate and she comes back but the house it is not like that they give them a lot more privacy for them to talk whatever they want to discuss and it was something new to my brother and also new to us the second one i observed is whenever we visit our in-laws before the marriage some certain things were expected of us that we we did not do during our own time like we did, i didn't we didn't do it when my sisters were getting married but it was expected of us to do it one is when you visit them you are expected to maybe sit on the floor and communicate with her mom because her dad is late to her mom you are expected to sit on the floor and communicate with the mom you cannot stand while the mom is standing or you cannot sit while the mom is sitting you have to be lower than the mom so the tag that has respect while we as you as a let's say as a man you come in you see my dad you see my mom you just like squat and greet 
then stand up and sit on the chair though, though you have to squat, squat until my dad asks you to stand up that as soon as you stand up you sit on the chair he sits on the chair and you both discuss whatever you want to discuss or i'll be there we'll discuss my dad will be there and there is no big deal about that but for the houses it is disrespectful for you to be on the chairs with your with an adult you get especially your, your in-laws you cannot be sitting while your your father-in-law is sitting next one is the houses really put a lot of importance to boxes like for we when my sisters were getting married boxes was something left uh, like we just left it to the, my sisters to decide if she wants it or not she can come up and say i don't want uh, my husband to buy boxes for me because i have enough clothes already nobody will fight her nobody will um quarrel her why she is is rejecting boxes but for the houses it has nothing to do with the girl it is it has a lot to do with her family female family members have to decide for her what will be in the box so she has no right to say she doesn't want those boxes those were one or that was one of the things we observed during the process so it was a must for us and trust me the items were ridiculous um when you go online you see so, someone can just come up and say i am about to get married um how much do you think will be okay for to um get lefe that is kind of that is boxes filled with clothes how much do you think will be okay and you see people call ridiculous amount of money you see people say it's one million one million is the least two million three million i'll be like for just clothes because for us we in this house particular particularly boxes was not something that important to be honest it is not important with Three hundred thousand, you would get the necessary things you need. You would get some pairs of shoes, wrappers, laces, a bias. Well, it depends on the quality you're talking of. But me, I think it is. It there, there shouldn't be too much importance. Like someone that cannot afford one million for boxes. Like one million in Nigeria money is a lot of money. So you expect me to, as a man, to keep one million? That is the least. Though me giving you one million is like me telling you to buy cheap things in market in your own words so do you get so without those without that one million or without those boxes i cannot marry you or is it that without for me not to be able to um, provide one million for your boxes does it mean i do not love you i do not truly love you or i do not really want you as my wife so i think the importance put on boxes is overrated like i i don't think it is necessary my own point of view I cannot have five boxes filled with clothes while we we'll go into the house and start looking for food to eat. While we we'll start, we'll go into the house and start looking for um, who to renew our house rent. Do you get? So the importance should not be that much in uh, boxes. If he can afford it, fine, no problem. But if he can't, then I think pressure should not be put on him. Marriage is beyond those boxes. Mm. Buying those boxes does not guarantee a happy home or does not guarantee him to be a good man. That is just what I think about that. Next one is Sadaiki. The house of Sadaiki is usually on the high side compared to what we normally give. For me, for my sisters, the highest amount they paid was 20k. One of my sisters actually took 15,000 naira. That was 2016. She took 15,000 naira. The other one took 20. But for the houses, the least they will take is 50,000. You hear 100, 200, 150, as much as 500,000 for Sadaiki. I don't think that is something that would happen. Even if I decide to, 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 to tax my husband, give me 500k, I don't think my dad would agree to that. Even though it is my right to decide what I want. But I don't think my dad would agree I ask for such kind of amount of money. So the Sadaki was actually on a high side compared to what we normally give or what we've accepted as daughters in this family. One other aspect um, I really, really liked about the Hausa culture is all you need to do is provide a space for the woman. Like just tell her that, okay, this is the house I rented or this is the house I have um, built. She would bring furniture, she would bring kitchen items, she would bring um, um house accessories kitchen assets she'll bring everything for you just tell just show her this is what i this is the house i have built and she would bring every other thing even down to food stuff she would give you bring food stuff to the house that will last one to two years that is one aspect i like about the house culture more like a way of assisting demand and we for the Edo people you know we'll see nothing <laughs> you will not see nothing so i think if we are to 
actually critically talk about all of this i think it is balanced in the sense that the sadaki is ridiculous the boxes you would buy is actually on the high side um compared to what the non-houses would do and the other way around too the non-houses will actually not bring most of your house one other thing i noticed is when my sister got married to their husband they get married after the sadaki is paid the reception and everything they will take her to let's say a representative of the man like maybe his uncle who is based there in kaduna they will take her to his house and before she is allowed to step into his house he has to pay a, a certain amount of money i think it is twenty thousand twenty thousand naira or ten 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 thousand ten ten thousand twenty naira, twenty thousand just depends on what you can afford there is no fixed amount basically the edo people the edo culture i would say we the way we practice our own is basically okay just bring whatever you can afford you get but for the house house i would say there are fixed standard you cannot go below why for we the edo people there is no standard just bring whatever you can afford and just make sure it is what you can afford and do not deceive us that is how it is being done for us or with us while them on the other hand they have some standards that you cannot go below no matter what go and find money and come and meet up to that standard that is just basically what i observed so once they take you to that uh, your uncle's or your in-law's house before you step into the house or before you come down from the car there is a certain amount of money that needs to be paid to the women that would take you there recently i noticed that even men now they follow do all this stuff but it was not something that was practiced before it is called a fugere something like a fugere like there is a tree that has fallen down that they need to cut out i mean they need to cut for her to pass and go into the house why for the houses it is called is it but <laughs> is it called i think it is Budebaki, where before she says anything um they have to pay money the next one i also observed is after everything they had to go see the house for we there is nothing like that that you and your husband know we on our stay there is nothing like checking the house seeing the house seeing the location um knowing how the house is and it was one thing i learned though it was not conducive because for me i believe if you're doing something no matter what you're doing especially something like marriage as sacred as marriage or wedding try as much as you can to make it conducive for yourself and for your spouse or your spouse's in family i don't believe in taxing a man because you want him to know your value and the aftermath night matter no be those wedding whatever and the aftermath night matter i also observed that after the wedding our bride actually bought some wrappers some lazy some bed sheets and some other materials for my mom and gave my dad perfume praying mat gave my other brother perfume which is not something we do she said it is a culture they do her own people would give her those things to bring to her in-laws but for we if there is anything i'm giving to my mother-in-law it's because i want to give it to her i want to gift it to her and not because it is a culture that requires me to give it to her you get what i'm trying to say so those are the major things i observed um the differences between our own Edo marriage or the Edo marriage we practice and the Hausa Sokoto um, wedding tradition and all of that. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, drop a comment in the comment section and see you in my next video. Bye!